Hi, my name is Phyllis Wu and I'm the program director for the All of You UCLA Hematology Oncology Fellowship Program. The mission of the All of You UCLA Hematology Oncology Fellowship Program is to train outstanding, well-rounded physicians with a commitment to providing high quality care to the underserved. Our fellows receive a comprehensive training in oncology, hematology, and stem cell transplantation over their three years here at All of You. Well, I did my residency here at All of You, so I already knew. I knew what was I was getting into in terms of the culture, and I really wanted to remain here, not just for the system and the culture, but also the patient population. I think it's one of the most robust clinical programs. Our fellows are very well equipped um, to practice anywhere they want, private practice, to a county setting, um, to an academic setting, and our graduates um, have all gotten jobs in all of those various settings. I chose to train at All of You because I wanted to really focus on strong clinical training. I also wanted to have opportunities to get involved in research and academia, and having the relationships with UCLA and Cedar sinai hospitals um, makes that relationship and that opportunity possible. So our fellows have the opportunity to rotate at three different training sites during their time here. This really allows for a very diverse experience during their training. Our fellows spend their first year mainly at All of You UCLA, which is one of the three safety net hospitals in LA County. This is really their home base during their first year where they will get exposure and learn the bread and butter of oncology. We spend months on the bone marrow transplant service at Cedars, three months at Kaiser in a community setting, and we have a whole three-year continuity clinic at All of You, so I think we come out of it very well equipped to see a variety of different disease pathology, but also well equipped to know how to delegate with the members of the team. You get to have different styles of hematology oncology training and getting the opportunity to see different facilities and how they practice and seeing it in different settings uh, really gives you a better expansive and broad experience from it and that's something that's pretty unique to this fellowship and that's something that a lot of other places don't get an opportunity to do and so that's one thing that really stood out to me. And by training at three distinct academic sites, fellows have broad exposure to nearly every different tumor type benign and malignant heme disorders, transplant, and they really learn how to navigate different healthcare systems with ease. I would make this decision again 100% and all the fellows are very happy with where they're going after fellowship and I'm excited to see what everyone does. All fellows here do participate in research. We have had fellows present uh, posters at ASCO. We've had publications in high impact journals such as JCO. So depending on who the fellow is, what their interest is, um, you can kind of tailor um, your research interests um, to kind of whatever your career goals are. When you really look at the demographics of the San Fernando Valley, we're about 1.8 million individuals. It makes us actually the fifth largest metropolitan area in the United States. Um, we are the safety net hospital for the San Fernando Valley. And so when you think of it in that perspective, it's like being in the only safety net hospital in Pittsburgh or Houston. We are it. There's not a cancer type or, or a people type that, that you won't have experience with. Because again, we're drawing from close to 2 million patients. Our patient population uh, is really varied. Uh, it's diverse. A lot of them are immigrants. Some of them are undocumented. And um, it's just a wonderful place to train where you can see a lot of different disease pathologies um, and work with a really grateful uh, patient population. They come from, you know, internationally and they're visiting their families here. We get to really work closely with them, educate them and help them take control of their health and treat what can be, you know, a really frightening disease a lot of the times. And, and the, actually the Board of Supervisors is behind that. And so that's, that's, that's the emphasis behind clinical trials here. One of the highlights of our program is our three-year continuity clinic, where our fellows have their own patient panels, where they treat and manage them as the primary fellow. I really wanted a program that was patient-centered and really focused on meaningful care. And we also have a lot of outpatient experience at this program, and that was really important to me. Meeting these patients for the first time and joining them on their journey was uh, really a privilege and an honor. They've put their total trust in your hands. And, and I think for a lot of the fellows, that's actually what draws them to oncology. You can't learn it out of a book. You, you learn it by doing it. This gives our fellows the opportunity to really develop autonomy and practice and learn skills necessary to succeed in their future practices. Oh, 
of my colleagues. I think the strongest part of our program is the wonderful uh, co-fellows uh, that are selected. They're just really good people, um, and we all get along really well. On interview day, everyone was so cordial, and uh, I felt very relaxed and felt that the faculty really wanted to get to know me as an individual and wanted to see me succeed. I think my favorite part of the day is being able to see my colleagues like walk around the hallways and getting lunch with them. The Hematology Oncology Fellowship Program is absolutely essential to the work that the Division of Hemog. There is no way we could, we could meet our goals, we could deliver the care without the support of our fellows. We also dialogue very regularly with our subspecialty colleagues. Those interactions are usually very cordial, friendly, professional and with patient care in mind. Um, I remember touring the place and all the residents were all huddled together during lunch and I just felt like the collegiality was genuine here. I feel like part of me will also really miss training um, and being around all my friends and colleagues. The level of growth after your first year is exponential. Uh, I think it's the most growth uh, intellectually that I've ever had in my life. Now, I just started my third year, but already after two years of being here at all of you, I already feel that I'm ready to practice. This is the most fun I've ever had doing medical oncology working out here. It's fun because of the quality of care that we deliver. It's fun because of the educational opportunities. It's fun because at the end of the day I go home and think we did good here today in terms of what we're doing and it makes me want to come back the next day and do it all over again. We will help you become fantastic, well-respected clinicians, future oncology leaders, and future educators. When fellows leave the program, they are going to be able to care for patients comfortably in both the inpatient and outpatient settings. They can find jobs in academics, in academic affiliated practices, as clinical educators, private practice, or in the HMO Kaiser style model. If you want a top-notch clinical program with a strong mission to help the underserved, then this is the program for you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video. We really hope to meet you here at All of You UCLA next year.